What is going on guys? Today we have a XMI Wi-Fi battle for you. Today we're up against Kit, and uh, I brought a miniature rain team, mostly just because of that Politoed, and not to mention that Galvantula can utilize it very well since it does learn that Thunder, and that Northern with our Hurricane, and of course that Toxic Croak with that Dry Skin. So, miniature rain team, and uh, Kit has an awful scary looking team too, so yeah, let's just get right onto it. Kit, Kit, Kit with his panda hat, so. Kit is gonna lead off with the Melotic. Shiny Melotic, pretty damn awesome. I'm gonna lead off with my Galvantula because I wanna stick up Sticky Web's ASAP, so. Turns out he is gonna stay in with his Melotic. I guess he predicted that um, I was gonna go for Sticky Web's. That's fine by me. He's gonna go for a Safeguard. Really strange and yet kind of cool. You don't really see Safeguard used anymore, so. I'm gonna go straight for the Thunder just in case he does stay in, and um. Unfortunately, I miss. Even with compound eyes, Thunder does have like a 3% chance to miss, which is really ridiculous, so. Unfortunately, I get burned, <laughs> um, so that's not too good. Now he knows that uh, Thunder is coming, and um, he doesn't want to get hit, so he's going to have to switch out. I thought he might go for a Dawn Fan, but turns out he's just going to go straight to the Aegis Slash, so. I went for a Volt Switch because I didn't want to stay in anymore because that residual damage is kind of killing me, so. I want to get the fuck out of here. So a good thing that Dawn Fan did not come out, so it would stall me another turn of burn damage, so. I'm gonna switch into my Zubat because my Zubat can just go for a Taunt in case he goes for a King Shield, and that's exactly what he does. He's gonna go for a King Shield just to scout what I have, and um, I kinda knew that, and I didn't want to waste a Flamethrower just yet, so. Now I'm gonna use the Flamethrower, and um, judging from this range, I might not kill, but unfortunately for my opponent, I do get that nice lucky critical, so. Pretty freaking sweet, I'm so glad I finally killed that Aegis Slash. Aegis Slash can be so damn problematic, so. His team is no longer uh, protected by Safeguard, but I'm not really sure how useful the Safeguard really is, so. Dawn Fan comes out, and I'm expecting uh, Stone Edge or even uh, Ice Shard, so. I want to get the hell out of here, and I'm going to go into uh, my Ferrothorn, expecting any of those two attacks. But turns out he has Play Rough, so really interesting yet again. Don't really see Play Rough on Dawn Fan, but I'm so glad he went for a Play Rough, honestly, because it absolutely does not does nothing, and it is a physical... Um, you know, a physical contact move, so. He does get hit by those Iron Barbs and the Rocky Hotman, so. Finally comes Charizard. I was expecting Charizard all along, but um, unfortunately, I was only able to set up rocks right when Charizard comes out, so. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a Charizard Y, because, well, usually they are Charizard Y. You don't really see Charizard X's as much, so. I thought, even though I do send out the Drizzle, I do summon the Drizzle, I know that uh, once he Mega Evolves, he will change it back to the Sunlight, but, um, even if he does go for the fire attack, I know um, Politoed can eat up a fire attack in the sun pretty well, so. Unfortunately, he does wreck my drought, but you know, it's, I mean, my drizzle, but it's all good, so. Turns out this Charizard has the fucking blast burn. I'm like, god damn, do you really need to use a blast burn? That's just very, so ridiculous, so. I thought, well, I could stay in, but my water attacks won't do too much since it's in the sun, and I could also always bring my Politoed back out just to set up the rain again. So I thought, I'm gonna send out my Galvantula and just kill this Charizard with a Thunder, since, um, you know, turns out he's not even gonna switch out. So, yet another opportunity for him to go for Dawn Fan, but he chooses not to, and he lives with like one fucking HP, which is ridiculous. But fortunately for me, he does go for a Flare Blitz, so. As you know, Flare Blitz does have that recoil damage, so he will lose that one one HP and pretty much die, so. Kinda glad he went for uh, Flare Blitz instead of any other, like, you know, <laughs> fire attack, so. I'm gonna send out my Noivern because it's a, you know, overall good lead. It's pretty damn fast, so. Out comes the Melotic. I'm a little bit scared of the Ice Beam. I know it's not gonna go for a Scald because a, I'm a dragon type, and you know, B, it's in the sun, so there's really no point for this Molotov to go for a skull. So, expecting the ice beam, I'm gonna switch into my uh, Politoed. And not to mention, I can finally get rid of this annoying damn sun, so. Now, this Melotic, turns out, is gonna use Skull and is boosted in the rain, and I was not expecting Skull, I mean, it's a fucking Melotic, and I was, you know, using my Noivern, I was so sure he's gonna go for the Ice Beam, but, yeah, really confusing, but my opponent does whatever he wants, so, I went into my Toxic Road expecting a Skull, but turns out it has a Track, so, really strange moves on this Melotic, indeed, it has Safeguard, and it has a Track, it almost, Makes me wonder, I'm pretty sure this Melotic doesn't even have, um, 
um, you know, Ice Beam. So I'm gonna go for my second Sword Stance. He's not switching out, so I'm really not sure what he's trying to do. I don't think he can really do anything to me. He's gonna go for a Scald, and turns out he doesn't really like I to have the dry skin. So um, now I can potentially go for my third Sword Stance. So it's gonna send out a Superior, yet another questionable play because. Not really sure what the superior can do, he probably can uh, go for a dragon tail and just ruin my uh, stat boosts, but um, yeah, I do have sticky webs up, so I will naturally outspeed this superior and just kill it with a plus fucking 6 poison jab. That'll overkill the superior, I'm pretty sure I could kill like 9 superiors with that, so... Now, I do get hit, I do lose life orb damage, but what's amazing is that since I am in the rain, I just heal it all back thanks to dry skin, so... Finally, out comes the Ampharos. I'm kind of fearing that uh, static uh, paralysis because we already saw that the Mega Gyarados is the Mega, so this Ampharos is obviously not Mega, so I have no choice but to kill it anyways with that Poison Jab, and of course I kill it, but I'm just praying that I don't get paralyzed, and um, luckily I don't get paralyzed. That's pretty freaking sweet, so. And not to mention that Life Orb pretty much gets negated through that dry skin, so things aren't looking too bad here. I'm at plus six and nothing in this team can really frighten me since everything is gonna get hit by rocks and sticky webs so and this Don Fran obviously has lost its sturdy ability so I'm gonna go for a drain punch because well you know ground types do resist poison type so and of course the drain punch is enough to kill it so that's pretty damn sweet as well unfortunately the rain finally stops so I don't get any more dry skin heal but hey it's all good and here comes the Malotic, fabulous shiny Malotic, he's gonna get hit by rocks and also steps in sticky webs, so it's really pretty sweet when you have like more than one hazard, so I'm gonna go for my strongest attack and um, that'll finish off this Malotic, so pretty freaking sweet, so there you have it, there you have it, a Toxicroak sweep in the rain, so... Thank you, Kit, for bringing such an excellent team. If you guys like this battle, please be sure to leave that awesome like. If you guys like Rain Team, well, please leave that like. And please share your opinion. Um, what do you guys like to see in Rain Teams? And what do you guys like to use? So make sure to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, guys.